Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channels and again warm welcome to the part six of this SQL Unlearn step by step video. Uh, let's start with today's video and today's video is again going to be very interesting. Okay, uh, so in today's video we are going to learn about alter statement. So I hope you have uh, completed part five and all the previous videos. If it not completed that first, go and finish that part five or till the part five. So it will be easy for you to understand the part six. So in part six, we are understanding again a uh, real time scenarios. Okay. So in, 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 in previous video, we have seen that, right? So let me open. This is my database, right? Uh, Amazon is my database and Amazon DB and in this table. Okay. So this is the customer and order two tables we have created, right? So let me click on the customer tables, right click, and I'm going into the design. If I click on a design, it will show, it will show me the schema, right? It will show me that design what we created for this, right? Okay. And this is my columns and this is my data types. Okay. And uh, if I right click on customers and if I script table create to new query window, it will give me the schema okay of the whatever the tables i have created so you can see that right yesterday we have written this code uh sorry i mean in the previous part we have created this table create table and this is the primary key clusters and this these are the columns right these are the you know, customer name email id in this and let's say uh now i'll go into the customer table for this customer table let's say my um mobile number is in teacher customer name is this now let's say i want to add a customer address okay the customer address is missing in this table right so how i can write there are the two ways so in the last part we have seen that i i used to drop this table and again i'm creating this table okay but now there is already data right let's say uh, select a star from customer okay and if I execute this, there is already data is available there, right? So if I drop the tables, it will delete all the data table as well. And I have to recreate this table, right? Uh, but now the scenario is that, okay, I want to add new column into this table, okay? Uh, so how I can add this column into this existing table, okay? This is the scenario, right? Uh, so what I can do is that let's say in, uh, this is the requirement, right? Let's say in futures, maybe new requirement is came. Maybe there's new columns need to add, but I don't want to drop the tables because there is a lot of data. Let's say the customer, let, let's, under, uh, let's imagine that Amazon's already has millions of customers in their database, right? So now they want to add one extra column. So, but they don't want to drop this table, right? They don't want to drop this table and uh, they don't want to lose all that data. So how we can add uh, the new column into this call into this table? Uh, the very simple st uh, statement is alter table and table name. Okay. And then add column. Okay. Uh, sorry, add column name. You have to give your column name that let's say I want to uh, uh column and i want to give the column name that address customer address okay and i want to give uh the uh, data type for this is let's say where care 500 i'm giving okay and if i execute this this is saying the incorrect syntax near the keyword column, right? So this column is not required, okay? So you have to, the syntax is alter table customer, alter table and table name, add your column name and your data type, and you are done, okay? Now, if I execute this, wow, perfect. Now you can see that, right? Uh, select star from customer, okay? Now tell me, uh, if you understand all the videos so far, if I uh, do the select star from, what will be the value for customer address? Newly added column. Interesting, right? If I execute, you can see that for customer address, the value is null. And as I said in my last video, that whenever you add a new column, okay, when you add a new column, but uh, you are not mentioned anything by default, this column will be not null. It will allow 
sorry it sorry it will be null so it will allow a null value but i want to keep it as mandatory and then i have to put not null there right now let's imagine okay uh, i want to add uh, one more column okay let's say um, shipping address for example i want to add let me uh, copy this you don't try to copy this just try to type the code so you will learn and you will practice it and that will give the more confidence okay let me add alter table table name add customer address uh, let's say here instead of customer address i want to add let's say um, billing address okay let's say i want to add a billing address and i want to keep this billing address as a mandatory okay so for this i have to mark this as not null right and if i execute this tell me what will happen it is giving me the error okay right alter table only allow columns to be added can contains null or have a default definition specified or column being add is an identity or timestamp column alternatively if none of the previous conditions are satisfied empty in blah 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 okay because it does not satisfy this condition so what it's saying imagine there's already customers available okay these are the customers kiran akshay right and you are adding a billing address column new column but customer address they allow because you keep this as null but now you are saying it should not be it should not be null it should not be not null right means it should be mandatory field so it's saying that you have to add some value for it default value otherwise you are you will be not able to add a column with not null constraint okay so you have to give some default value so for this we are we will give the default and we'll pass the default value as a let's say um let's say we'll give the default that this is pune okay let's see if it's work if i execute this perfect that's working right now if i go and select star from it will give the billing address as a pune for all this all these records okay so i just want to explain you right when you want to add a new column it should be null if there is already data is available and if you are adding if you are adding new table if you are adding any new columns which will be the not null then you have to pass the default value for for this okay sounds good now let's see uh, that we have did uh, we have added a new column right now let's see the billing address is 500 right uh, but i want to i want to make it a max okay instead of 500 i want to make a max because i can see that uh, some data is uh, some address is long and that that's uh, truncating uh, that's not uh, that is more than 500 characters so that means uh, that data will get lost okay so i want to change uh, the data type of existing column okay this is this is what we did add column okay now i want to see next scenario is that modify column okay i want to modify the column so let's say uh let's say for the customer address uh we will up modify okay so alter table alter table table name i have to give you his alter right alter customer address alter i am giving column okay i want to alter the column right and then this is my customer address and i want to instead of where care 500 i want to give it as a max but before that you have to i will show you here if you go here customer in the columns you can see that for customer address it's a 500 right customer address it is 500 now instead of 500 i want to give it as a max okay max value so it will take uh it will take the full address okay and now if i execute this perfect that means it's executed and select star from this now you can see that customer address is updated how you can see that the data type is changed just click here refresh here 
go to the columns and see your customer address. You can see that it's a max, right? So before alter statement, it was, uh, it was 500 only, right? And now it's a max, okay? So this is how you can modify the alter tables. Now let's say, uh, mm, uh, from this select star, uh, select star from customer tables, I don't want this SM social media account column. Okay. I think this is not required in this table. Okay. Uh, and I want to delete that table. I want to drop this column. So what should I do? So for this, uh, for this drop column, or you can call it as remove or delete column. What is syntax for this is again, alter table, table name. This is my table name, drop column and I have to give the column name. So my column name is a social media account. Okay. So I just double click here, copy this and I'm pasting here. So this is my social media. Uh, this is my social media account column. Okay. Now, if I want to drop this, execute. Now you can see that this column is dropped from this table. Now, if I go here and do a select star from the customer tables, now social media account column is get deleted from here. So, okay. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this alter statement. So uh, on top of this, I want to tell you one thing now, the into equations. Okay. Now, so far, what we did, what we uh, learn is that a uh, select statement, insert, update, and delete. So those are DDL. So that means data definition language. Okay. So this, why this is the data definition language? Because we are playing with the data, right? In one tables where we can select, we can insert the data, we can update the data, we can delete the data. So these all our operations are related to the data. That's why it's called, sorry, my bad. It's a DML operations. Okay. It's a DML operation. So data manipulation language manipulation language we call this as a data manipulations data manipulations language and this will be the interrogation that they will ask is what are the dd uh, dml commands you know and what are the ddl okay so data definition language now what are the uh, data definitions language that will also i'll tell you control x these are my dml okay data manipulations because we, I am manipulating the data. Okay. So these are my data manipulations commands. So select insert update and deletes are my manipulation data manipulation uh, operations. So I'm calling this as a data manipulations language. Now next is a data definitions language. Okay. So what is data definition language? So simple. I'm creating the tables, right? I created table, right? I create a table. So that create statement is my schema because using the create tables, I'm creating the creating the schema, right? Drop tables, again, drop is one statement. Using the drop, I can drop the column, I can drop the table. So drop is again, uh, my a schema level because I'm creating a schema. Once I create a schema, I can add data, I can modify the data. So that, uh, DDL will always come first, okay, then DML. So for DDL, it's create, drop, and alter, okay? There's a lot of, lot of, a lot of things there, but for as a kind of considering this as a level one, I don't want to get into the more depth, uh, don't want to get into the more confusion. So just on a high level, understand this step by step, we'll go into the advanced level there, you will understand everything. So, so don't worry about other commands. So this is the data manipulations language and this is the defini data definition language. So remember, this will be the interview that they will ask you. And there will be uh, one more language is the DAL that is a data access language. Okay, so we'll talk, we'll talk about this as well um, in advanced level. So you not need to worry about this uh, part right now, but I will help you to understand this in detail as well later. So for this, for today, this is uh, this is what uh, we are going to 
you know we have learned in this video about alter statements and how to alter how to modify the column how to add the column how to drop the column i hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions you can ask him in the comment box also if you want to reach out to me you can reach out to me on this my mail id it's kiran for 14 at the red gmail.com okay uh, and friends please uh, give me your feedback into the comment box if you like my video if you are getting the knowledge from me please give me comment into the comment box and that will really help me to motivate it it, it really help me it, it inspire me to create more content for you let me know in the comment box what you are looking for what are the uh, topics that you are looking for and definitely i will create more videos on that part as well okay so that's it for today guys thank you so much please like share and subscribe to my video share with your friends who are also started learning on the sequel okay and see you in the next video till then stay healthy stay fit stay blessed and happy sql coding thank you so much take care bye bye